Hello students, so let's try to solve one problem from CSIR NET 2023 December exam and this is from scattering. So in this problem it is given that the plane wave with wave number k is coming and they are just going to scatter with the spherically symmetric wave and only excited waves are S and P wave means L is equal to 0 and L is equal to 1 will be excited one. So what we have to do we have to find the total scattering cross section and scattering amplitude is given. So here scattering amplitude is given and that is in form of complex numbers. So we have to find the scattering cross section. So what is your scattering cross section? So first we have to know that our psi is given by and this psi is e to the power i kz this is incoming plane wave plus f theta e to the power i kr by r. So this is the solution of Schrodinger wave equation and where f theta is your scattering amplitude. So this f theta is given and uh, what we know, we know this f theta is related to partial wave amplitude and this f theta is related to basically summation over 2L plus 1 AL PL cos theta. So PL cos theta is legendary polynomial and AL is all about the amplitude of partial wave and once you know the amplitude of partial wave you can easily calculate the value of sigma and the value of sigma is equal to 4 pi mod AL square into 2L plus 1. So this is your total scattering cross section. So in this problem L is given, F theta is given, so we have to calculate AL and once we will calculate AL we can easily calculate the scattering cross section. So let us try to go for calculation of these two things. So how you will go for this? So we have two experimental result can be is given actually. So what is that at theta is equal to pi by 3 f theta is given and theta is equal to pi by 2 f theta is given and it is also given that s and p wave is excited. So how we will go for this equation? So when we will go for this equation so first is f theta is equal to pi by 3 and that value is given 1 upon 2k 5 by 2 plus 3i and this value is equal to hence l is equal to 0 and l is equal to 1 is excited then this value is equal to a0 plus a1 and 3 is there l is equal to 1 this is 3 is there and p1 cos theta is equal to cos pi by 3. So what is this value? This value is equal to a0 plus 3a1 by 2 and this value is given this one. The second equation is f theta is equal to pi by 2 and this value is given as 1 upon 2k and this value is 1 plus 3 by 2i and this value is a0 plus 3a1 cos pi by 2 and from there cos pi by 2 is 0 so this is nothing but a0. So from these two equations and we all know that p0 cos theta is 1 so uh, we all know this property of legendary polynomial and p1 cos theta is cos theta. So what we have to do we have to solve these two equations. So once we will solve these two equations we will easily find the value of a0 and a1. So I have solved this thing. So what is the value of a0? The value of a0 is just a simple thing and that value is equal to 1 upon 2k and what is this value? 1 plus 3i by 2. So this is value of a0 and the value of a1 we can easily calculate into from this equation. So here we have value of a0 and we can put the value of a0 and we can get the value of a1 from here. So in from this equation we can get the value of a1 
and the value of a1 is equal to 1 upon 2k 1 plus i. So yes, we have get the partial wave amplitude. Once we have get this particular partial wave amplitude, then we can put this formula that is 4 pi and summation over 2L plus 1 and mod AL whole square. And here we can go for 4 pi and L is equal to 0. Then we have mod A naught square plus 3 mod A1 square. And once we will put it here, then this value is 4 pi mod A naught square is 1 upon 4k square mod 1 plus 3i by 2 mod square plus 3 by 4 4k square and here is 1 plus i mod square. So once we will calculate this whole complete thing, then what we will get? We will get sigma is equal to 4 pi upon 4k square and inside this particular bracket we have 1 plus 9 upon 4 this is for this particular mod square plus this particular mod square is 3 into 2 and once we will calculate all this thing then this sigma is equal to 37 pi upon 4 k square so this will be your answer and if you will check your answer will be option number 1. So it's a very conceptual problem, it is very conceptual, the calculation is just a straightforward calculation. But in this particular concept, if you don't know what is the relationship between a scattering amplitude and the partial wave amplitude, this question cannot be done into the examination. So students, try to practice this type of question. This is very conceptual as well as very interesting to solve. Thank you.